It has happened again and again and again. But this morning, the vandalism at a New Mexico middle school reached a new level. The school was so trashed, classes had to be canceled. The good news, police got some very good video of the suspects in action. News 13 Scott Daniels has a story from Gallup. Classes were canceled on Wednesday. And there won't be school on Thursday at Chief Manuelito Middle School in Gallup. And that's one of the reasons we don't want the students to see it is because we know pretty much all of our students would feel the same way. They'd be really upset at seeing what's happened to their school. In the middle of the night, security footage caught at least four teenagers running up and down the halls using crowbars to smash windows in almost every room in the building. Gallup police think they cut a hole through the back fence at 3 in the morning and waltzed right in. It took only 20 minutes for the teens to cause approximately $30,000 worth of damage. Along with the windows, they also broke vending machines, projectors, and stole money. Well, there was a couple of desks that had cash in it for like uh, annual pictures. The kids went into the computer lab and left thousands of dollars of equipment untouched. What they stole, as much of this as they can get their hands on. It's compressed air. It's what people use to get high with. Assistant Principal Dan Horsley. We, we've always had kind of this feeling it's not really our kids who are doing it, and um, I'm not quite sure who the kids are. The school was hit two times earlier this month, the vandals leaving spray paint all over the walls. The high school next door was broken into last month, and fires were set inside. Police believe the same group of teens might be responsible for every one of these break-ins. The school is covered by state insurance, but it still has to shell its deductible, which is $25,000. That's one less book, one less computer that we might have be able to buy. In Gallup, Scott Daniels, KRQE News 13. The assistant principal said that the school is planning to reopen on Friday. Meanwhile, Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $1,000 to anyone who leads police to the vandal.